Yo, this vlog is all over the place. I'm gonna take you back like two weeks real quick and let you see what happened with me, YC, and Tino, and then we're gonna jump back into the current time. Let's get it, let's go backwards. <laughs> Good morning, creatives. Should have put my seatbelt on before I left the house, but I was trying to film a cool little intro. Ah. I'm on my way over to pick up the homie YC real quick. He hit me this morning. I was editing, finishing up a vlog from LA. He wanted to go grab some coffee and sit in a coffee shop, so that's what we're about to go do. shit loose now all right so I hate when I don't bring my ND filter out here because now the Sun's like beaming on me and I had to crank my shutter speed up but we just left out of chrome yellow had a little get-together a little meeting a little 2020 talk with the homies YC and Tino it was cool man we were just kind of talking about what we want to do coming up this year with our channels with projects in general documentary type of stuff I want to be more consistent vlog more I got a couple different things man I actually want to make a video on it. I don't know if I'm going to or not but what up man what you want to do for this year coming up? Yo, so I don't want to tell y'all exactly what I want to do because I don't want y'all to steal my fucking ideas. But <laughs> <laughs> just know we're making more meaningful content. That's the biggest thing. I want to make more content that makes you feel a certain way rather than look good. I want to travel and do some cohesive pieces and things that go together with y'all getting involved into it. I ain't going to say exactly what it is. I don't want y'all to steal this shit. Just know we got some dope stuff coming on the way. Those two big things though for this year. All right, I'm all over with the vlog. This vlog doesn't have any meaning or any story. I just want to pull my camera out and create today. So I guess that's the story. Be consistent and make something. You should at least try to make something every single day. Pull your camera out, make a photo of your kid, your friend, your car, your sneakers, I don't, anything. I haven't been picking up my camera and I want to pick up my camera more. 90% of the reason of that is because I've been behind on a lot of projects that have to get done and out. Been knocking a lot of stuff out the past two, three weeks. I need to go home actually right now and finish up this vlog from LA. YC dropped his three months ago. Mine is still not done, but today it is gonna drop. So by the time you've watched this, you're gonna already watch that. If you haven't, here's a link to it up here somewhere. Yo, wait, yo, what, what's your um, what's your top goal for 2020? Like your main, the one all the way up here. I mean, relative to, to work and content creation, top goal for me is gonna be create more meaningful content. Uh, 100%, I want to create content that makes people want to come back to it and makes people feel a certain way after they look at it. But on a personal level, just more family time, man. Just focusing a lot more on family and doing more family-oriented things. Yeah. That's dope. Tino, I'm hollering at my, my fam fam. I'm trying to create financial stability for myself. Boot to the A. Try to be consistent. That's three. Maya was supposed to give you a top one. Those are good goals, though. Definitely financial stability. Gotta have finances to get, get, it, get it done. I'm gonna work on that, man. I'm gonna definitely work hard on that. I always got my boys to help too, so. Hell yeah. That's always a plus, big plus. Last year, one of my goals was to stay ahead in 2019, and ironically, the whole year I was behind. So 2020, start a new decade, I wanna be able to be very consistent and ahead. That's something that I really wanna work on. I wanna be current, caught up, doing stuff like this. I feel good right now, I'm vlogging, I brought the camera out, it feels good. I do know I still got other projects to edit before this, so it is inconvenient to be doing this video right now, but I just wanted to pick the camera up, make something today, and feel that creative spark, that creative rush of just being able to make something spontaneously. So consistency slash staying ahead is probably one of my top goals. crazy right now man I'm actually moving in like Friday and it's today is Sunday so I'm moving in like five days crazy I haven't really like picked up my camera and vlogged you guys in a minute about like day-to-day -day lifestyle what's going on so. <laughs> I remember like putting these up this one is like so loose because I took it off already but I sold my desk I got rid of my desk and if you can see back there I just sold my bed and I also sold a new TV in place of that I got me a big 65 inch I'm excited about that I'm excited to play my Xbox shout out to Microsoft for Best that forever. just little memories of this place is just gonna be crazy just looking back on stuff 
yeah, so man, the crib is like half empty. Uh, it's cool. I'm like selling all my old stuff so I can buy new stuff at the new spot. Makes moving easier. I won't have a bunch of stuff to carry with me. I got like coffee table, bar stools, camera gear, clothes, and it's like, that's it. Change my address. Yo, what's good, you guys? I just went over to the other crib and I got some of the last things out of there. There's like two more things. I'm officially done. I sanded down all the stuff that I patched yesterday. Yeah, so I need to change my address. I got a list, long list of stuff to do. Just got everything out of my truck, took it to the cleaner as well, cleaned up my truck, got everything back normal. Whew, man, this has been a process. This is like, watch how fast this year goes by. I guarantee you, you're gonna be looking at a video really soon. It's gonna be like, yep, moving into my new house. Let me get this chair. <sighs> So what's next for me? My next step is to get this space customized for me. And today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community where people come to learn, discover, explore a ton of different topics. I'm talking about topics like this, like setting up your space. They have absolutely everything. I'm actually looking at a class right now to style my space. It's called Style Your Space. You can kind of get an idea of your style and how you want things to look and how to make your space look comfortable. Just so you have the ultimate experience when you're editing videos or you're shooting videos when your space is good you're good not only that but it's 2020 it's a new decade we need to explore new skills I want to actually learn how to do more interior decorating more building things in my office or for music video sets and not only is Skillshare good for something like interior design it's also good for photography for editing photos for video video editing all types of cool stuff not only do I recommend joining this community and becoming a member I actually am giving away two months free so if you click the link down below the first link that you see in the description you can get two months free on this platform so you want your space to be very comfortable so you actually want to go into it and actually work and do the things that you enjoy doing and creating so that's one thing that I'm interested in checking out on Skillshare is the interior design part of things they also have graphic design stuff which is a really really important factor when it comes to branding you want to understand how branding works how colors affect your brand how text and fonts affect your brand there's so many things things that you can learn when it comes to this creative field on the Skillshare platform. You can get two months free down below. Click that link. That is my link. It'll send you over there. You get two months free. Why not, right? Two months free to learn, explore, discover. Why not? Let's do it. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring the video. It's time to get this space right. What's the word for the day, man? Uh, the word for the day is persistence. Mm. Gotta keep this shit going. Even when you don't want to keep this shit going. Persistence. That's what it's about. Gotta keep it going. Got to get it done. You see that right there? Get shit done. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out the angles that I want to shoot in here. I think this looks like a good angle. I need to clean these wires up right there. I need to figure out how to hide those wires. I think this is a cool angle. Uh, let's put the ISO up a little bit. Let me pull this out a little bit, makes it more towards the back of my head. I like the light in the background. I'm gonna have to pull out another light for a key light, probably like right here. I can use daylight sometimes. I don't know about like on a regular if I'm sitting down just doing a video, but this is cool. I like this. This is on a 17 to 40 millimeter. It is an F4, so if there's not good light it will get a little grainy i don't know there's so much stuff that i have to figure out all right so i usually use a 24 millimeter so let's go into 24. it still is good it's gonna be need to be adjusted probably about right there so you can see that piece on and you can just see that whiteboard i could take that light out of frame for the 24 shot frame shoot it at my head so i get a little rim light see it hit me right there and this is going to be for like production like where i sit down and i teach things i talk about you know how to do certain things what tutorial style videos um i like it because it's got the bokeh from back in that other room so boom you see what that light's doing it's kind of hitting me could even bring it down a little bit i could change the color of it i think this looks good this is a cool little uh setup uh, let's go back to the window so that's one shot Two focal lengths that I can shoot at. Also got this one. This is cool. I like this one. Let's bring down this about right there. Yeah, we'll adjust the light. I want the light to kind of like be in it. Uh -huh. Pull it off the wall a little bit. Rolly wheels are awesome. Got it kind of like showing the light and the light on. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I like this. 24 looks good. This looks this looks cool. So we got the window angle. We got the corner angle. Whoa! Let's take this back here. Line it directly up with that uh corner right there. My seat. The window light on there for the 
rim light. Bring this down a little bit closer to my face. So the corner's not gonna be in the center. It's gonna be a little offset, but it's cool because my face is in the center. I still got this light right here over the top of my shoulder. That's pretty cool. Let's see, we are blown out. Oh no, my monitor, my monitor went out. All right, so for the most part, I think I got everything situated. I got this front window. I've got four different angles in here that I can shoot at that I'm happy with, I'm pleased with, and I think the aesthetic looks good. I still do want to put up these. These are my LifeX square tile panels. Uh, they're really cool when you set them all up on the wall and you can get really cool colors. I got the beam in the other room. I was low key thinking about putting the beam right here in the background for this shot, but I don't know yet. I might, I don't know yet. So that is what I got going on right now. I'm building out my office. I'm getting things straight. Got an idea of the angles that I want to do. I got the 1DX on a little Manfrotto and it's actually like leaning over. It's not secure. I either need to go get a 3K or a 5K Gorilla Pod to keep this thing up. The 1DX Mark III is on pre-order right now. I really would like to get that. This camera is amazing. The EOS R is good. The 6D Mark II is good. I really would like to have a C200 that can shoot raw internally for music videos so I can really dive deep into like the dynamics of the color grading, etc. I'm all over the place right now, man. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to figure out what works best for me and not what I see everybody else making. That is a big tip. Don't focus on what everybody else is making and what they're using to make because everybody is different. I've tried every single camera. I've went through an EOS R. I've went through a 6D Mark II. I've went through my 1DX Mark II. I've went through a 6D Mark I. All of them work pretty good and I can make it happen. It's just about figuring out that sweet spot of which camera is best for what. I have a long list of to-do stuff. I have projects that I need to get finished. I have the Colorado road trip that needs to get done. The footage is just outstanding. Can't wait to piece that thing together for you guys. I also have this video on a slider, the Arc 2, that I need to release so I can show you guys what I think about that Arc 2 slider. It's pretty freaking dope. Damn it! I can't breathe. I got a video for my son for Ace that I want to do. I got a lot of stuff, man. I, I need to get, I need to just put this camera down, dump these clips, and just get started like now so I'm gonna see you guys in the next video if you like this video slap that like button drop me a comment subscribe hit the bell all those good things and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace